Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to create dependent drop down lists including when your items have spaces. Now this video has come about because I've been getting a lot of questions regarding this issue um, on my previous videos about creating these lists and that is that now, to do this, we have to create these named ranges, but you're not allowed to use spaces in a named range. So just to get people up to speed quickly, I have this countries list. Then I have separate lists of cities. And on the other sheet, I have a basic drop down list scenario where in the first in cell A2, I want to pick a country. So either Germany, South Africa or the United Kingdom. And the second drop down list will be dependent on that. So if I choose Germany, I'll have the options of Berlin, Frankfurt, Munich. Choose South Africa, the options of Dur Durban, Johannesburg or Pretoria. And so on. Now these two lists, countries and Germany, I've already set up. I simply highlight the range of cells and type a name in this box in the top left. So country is there, Germany here. Now when it gets to South Africa, I can highlight the range of cells. So just those three, Durban, Johannesburg, Pretoria. Click inside that name box, but I cannot type South space Africa. It will not accept that because you cannot use spaces. So what I will have to do in there is type South Africa without spaces and I'll do the same for United Kingdom here I will type it without spaces and then I'll pop over to this drop down sheet now I will put a link to my previous video in the description of this so if you want to try and get up to speed a little bit more with these drop down lists I'd include a reference to to my other uh, videos that I've done, including one on multiple drop down lists. But for now, you know, I'd select the range of cells. So I'm just going to click on one cell here, A2. I'll click data at the top and data validation to create this drop down list. And I'll choose list. And this one will be equals countries. So I'm referencing the named area called countries this area here these three cells so now this drop down list will have those three options but what I want now is in the next drop down list to make it dependent on that now to do this we can use a wonderful function called indirect and some of you watching this video may have seen my previous talks about indirect uh, in addition to these drop down lists uh, let's quickly get up to speed on that uh, in a cell if I just type equals indirect this means I can return a reference specified by a string so the content of A2 Germany look at the string in that cell look at the content of that cell use it as a reference to a named range so I'd put A2 in there close off the bracket now if I put this formula if I just copy that if I put this formula in my named area, so B2, data validation, list, what's the source? I'm going to paste in that formula. And I click OK. This will work great for Germany. Look, Germany selected, Berlin, Frankfurt, Munich. But if I choose the United Kingdom, I don't get anything. And if I choose South Africa, I don't get anything because it doesn't match the named area. Cell A2 is South Space Africa. My named range is South Africa, no spaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a function called substitute with indirect here. So I'll use indirect, but then I'm going to type substitute. So I'm going to remove the space. So look at the text in A2, comma, what are you looking for? Looking for a space. So I'm actually typing a space B2 
between those inverted commas there. Comma, what's the new text? Yeah, you know, no space. Remove it. There is nothing in between inverted commas there. Close bracket for substitute. Close bracket for indirect. Then we take a copy of that formula. Let me put click on B2. Data validation. Replace what I've got in there with this one. And click OK. And now we're in business. So if I choose Germany, it continues to work. But if I choose United Kingdom, it continues to work. Or it does start working, doesn't continue really. South Africa, we're in business as well. So that is what you want to do if you're having these issues with spaces. We want to use the substitute function to remove the space and then provide it with indirect. And make sure in your named ranges you do not include spaces in the name. That will then match them up. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on uh, our YouTube channel. And come check us out at computergaga.com.